Hey, this is Anthony from Zola, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Fighter Leather Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. New for the fall of 2016, this is the fighter from Dianese. I have been yelling about blacked out gear for years. Dianese, way to step up to the plate. This is your between six and seven hundred dollar, all murdered out, sport cut, premium leather from Dionese. If we look at it, this is Batman, it's Bruce Wayne, it's Tron, it's all those things together. But again, I think Ducati Monster, I think Ex Diavol, I think somebody that wants to be a badass with technical gear that doesn't want to look like they just stepped off the racetrack. This is where you go. Hive is Brian, it's the most like a superhero you've ever looked to me. If we look at it, it is D-Skin 2.0. This is the highest degree of protection and quality in the leather that Dionese puts out. Abrasion resistance, tear resistance, feel. And you can see this is a perforated version. There's also a non-perf version. I'm also going to call out that whether it's perf or non, full sleeve thermal removable liner. This is meant to be an off the track jacket to give you the flexibility. Fall and spring, you're good to go. Perf version, take that liner out, you're great for summer. Put the liner in and go non perf if you want. You can stretch this into colder weather riding seasons. But if we look at it, the theme here is a minimization of branding, lo logoing, embossed logos. You even have the hard parts on the shoulders that are matted out with pops of gloss. This is a murdered out jacket for the murdered out motorcyclist. Now, when I think about it, there is a street darker, which is his baby brother, doesn't use D-skin leather. That's gonna come in and be a little bit more, uh, I will call it fashion inspired, but still moto technical, but a little bit lighter weight under that $600 mark. There's also darker shoes, and they put out this whole darker side series from Dionese, which again, we compliment and are excited about here in the US market, because again, we see a minimization of logos and brandings, a little bit different than the Euro attack on things. Now, a quick note on sizing. Hive is Brian, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's actually wearing a size 52. It fits his size, and if we look at it, it looks like he's stuffed in there pretty good. It does have a sport articulation to it, but it's not race. This jacket's gonna be okay if you're in a three quarter. This jacket's also gonna be okay for me. I'm a multi-strata guy, if I'm sitting upright on the bike, I'll be good to go there as well. So think about it through that lens, less about getting to the track, even though it has all of that race inspiration and DNA from Dionese, and you see it show up even in the quality of the leather. Use a size chart, no surprises there. Keep in mind, there is some adjustability in the hips. You do have these S1 stretch panels that allow you that room to move. They actually flow a little bit of air as well. So again, comfort and flexibility do make their way in there, and you're investing closer to that $700 mark, so they really need to work. So all in, that's where it comes out from a fit standpoint. I'd also love it if you click our logo, su subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new fighter, the fighter. Now, diving into some of the other nuances here. If we look at it on the side, they've baked in some, some matte gray reflectivity. You know, Buzzsaw and I had a bit of an argument about this. He said, I think that they could put more reflectivity into it. I looked at it and said, it's kind of blacked out. I'm okay that's low profile reflective. A couple pops here and there, anything more, if it was bigger tape, even if it was matte gray, might take away from the look. Again, that's a little subjective. If we look at it up here along the collarbone, localized perf, meaning that perforation scheme stops before the seam. It doesn't weaken the, weaken the leather, but it still gives you that great airflow. Basic hand warmer pockets. We talked about the S1 stretch panel and the articulation. And if you come in here under his arm, get your damn arm out of the way, Hive is Brian. You're gonna see there's a mesh back vent here directly to the body. It goes in. If you pull that thermal liner out, you're gonna vent directly to the body on the inside of this jacket and you'll be good to go. And one of my favorite things about this, and I've said it six times now, this is actually probably only the third time, you have this embossed Dionese demon in the center of the chest. I like that it's not this big pop of color. I like that it's just worked in. People that know Dionese, they're gonna know. If you look at this jacket, yeah, it's badass. There's nothing you could do about it. If we look at the sleeve here, basic, set it and forget it. Auto lockers here, they zip all the way down. That's your entry and exit point. Turn the face that way for me, Briz. If we look at it, you have some bossing along the humerus or along the bicep. Micro elastication, backside of the elbow. You're gonna see it along the lat as well for range of motion, depending on your riding position. One of the things we didn't talk about yet is armor. It's your composite CE level one armor, not a co-injected shoulder. They went with a matte finish aluminum hard part slider with a gloss Dionese logo up here on the top. Again, the race jackets and the race suits get that co-injection. This is really a hard part on top of internal armor, a little bit more comfortable for everyday riding. CE rated composite armor in the elbow that goes down to the forearm. If he lifts his arm, there's your basic adjuster down along the hip. And you can see that this micro elastication is how they add elastication, which without adding big accordion bellows, they keep that leather in protection without adding costs or weight. And up here along the shoulder blade, you're gonna see that S1 stretch panel continue. So again, range of motion there, while also giving you the ability to breathe. Turn backwards from there, Briz. If we look at the back, there's no back protector that comes stock. You're gonna put pro armor in, a Manus or a Wave G1. That's how you upgrade the back armor. Do you want to 
go CE1 or CE2. Notice big Dionese embossed logo with some foam in it in the back. It just kind of pops off really nicely. Basic pops are reflective. We talked about that. And you do have mesh on the inside of the collar. So up where that meets your neck, if you do happen to get hit with a little bit of a cloud burst, it's not going to chafe you. If you start sweating the summer, you're gonna be good to go to wick sweat away. Looking at the back, big localized perforated panel goes all the way down. It's great breathability. In through the front, out through the rear, you are absolutely gonna breathe in this jacket. This is the perf version. Remember, there's a non-perf version. And remember, if you wanna get a little more fashionista, you don't want it as technical, check out the Street Darker jacket, which is his baby brother, save about 100 bucks there. Come back around to the front from there, Briz. You're making it look good today. Unzip that bad boy for me. Notice. On the inside, it's going to have that thermal liner, fully removable. That allows you to get better bang for the buck as you take it into wintertime riding conditions. You can absolutely add Dionese chest armor, the thorax protector to go over your chest. And if you want, if I zip this up, this is your silver silver ion super premium internal mesh liner, antimicrobial wicking. This is the super soft, super high end stuff that they use on the race, the race jackets and the race suits. So again, premium features throughout. You're investing close to $700. You expect all the bells and whistles, comfort, protection, and style. They all come together really nicely. You can tell that I've nitpicked it in a few places, but overall, I'm a big fan of this jacket. I like blacked out gear, and I like jackets that I can rock that don't necessarily carry that screaming race design at times. So again, if I open it up, you're gonna see here, there we go, that comes off, thermal comes out, 270 degree zip in the back, and up here along the collar, you're also going to have that mesh, which is going to wick sweat away. So we go to the other side really quickly, and you open it up, no Napoleon pocket, you have your pocket on the inside, you're getting that silver ion liner. Again, super premium components. Zip it up, Hives, Brian, I'm so tired of seeing your visibility. Now remember, premium, Part of the darker series, blacked out Bruce Wayne. I'm a Batman fan. Don't hate on Batman. Batman's great. Next step in your journey, click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com. Read other rider reviews of the new Dionese fighter. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Subscribe to us on YouTube. RevZilla, stay up to date with all of our opinions on the latest and greatest in the Moto Universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.